Welcome back. We're talking about the lessons on the Battle of Badr. Um, so, Brother Shabir, what was the result of this battle? Well, it, it is interesting that um, the, the result actually was in favor of, of the Muslims, even though the odds were so vastly against them. Uh, the Prophet, uh, peace be upon him, was a sagacious individual. He, as much as he had trust in God, he also made use of natural uh, means. Uh, he, first of all, situated his followers in such a way that uh, they would have the advantage of the slope, so the others would have to come up to them. Um, so, because they were defending the city and they were closer to the city than the uh, marauding invaders, they were able to reach the desired position and encamp and wait for the army to arrive. So they picked this position of that would give a slight advantage. Okay. Moreover, uh, in the hot desert conditions, obviously uh, having your supply of water is very important. So he situated his uh, camp in such a way that uh, water will be easily available behind them uh, so that uh, they could not be cut off from the water by, by the enemy forces. So this sort of uh, advantage uh, was uh, obviously uh, some contributing factor to the result of the battle. But the greatest contributing factor that the Muslims reported was that uh, they saw that angels were fighting on their behalf. In fact, the Quran mentions that God sent angels on this occasion uh, to defend the Muslims uh, from this vastly superior force. Okay. Um, what significance did winning this battle hold for the Prophet and his followers at that time? Well, it, it, boosted, it boosted the morale of the, of the believers. It showed them that uh, God's help is uh, actually much nearer than they could have imagined. Uh, there is a verse of the Quran which says, Sayyuzhamul Jam'u wa Yawaluna Dubur. The multitude has been defeated and uh, has now shown its back, meaning that they have to leave the battlefield. Mm -hmm. This passage actually is said to have been revealed uh, while the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was still in Mecca prior to the migration and therefore prior to this battle. Mm -hmm. And at the time when this uh, verse was revealed, Muslims could not imagine how, how could this be a reference to anything in sight. Uh, how could the multitudes be defeated? Because uh, the, 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 it was the few Muslims who were continually being persecuted. And it, there seems to be a promise from God that eventually the same multitude will be defeated and they will have to turn their backs and, and leave. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, on, on this occasion, uh, was able to return from the battlefield with his uh, followers basically intact. Only a few of his followers had fallen in that battle. It is said that uh, 14 men altogether, eight, six from those who had migrated from Mecca and another eight uh, former residents uh, of, well, continuing residents of Medina mm -hmm. who are known as the Ansar. And uh, on the other hand, some 70 of the others were killed mm -hmm. uh, and many uh, of a, some of an equal number were taken captive. Uh, so the Prophet, peace be upon him, was now able to return with it to, to, to his city with basically his army intact and uh, also with uh, those who were taken captive. Oh, okay, so how did the Meccans react to the Muslims winning this battle? Well, they didn't take too kindly to that. As they were leaving the battlefield, uh, they promised that they will come back the following year, which means that they're coming back for revenge. And that, of course, would be another discussion as to how the Muslims uh, defended themselves in that subsequent attack. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, now that the Prophet, peace be upon him, returned with these uh, prisoners of war, there was a question of how do you deal with the prisoners of war? Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll be back with um, further, further discussing the lessons from the Battle of Badr.